In the previous video, we have implemented a way for us to place a road structure on the map and fix the road structure to fit the currently placed uh, road prefab. So if we place here a road prefab, it will become a dead end and the previous one will become a three-way because it matches its neighbors. What we want to do in this video is a way to drag our mouse and create a road on the fly. So let's stop the game and first of all, let's open up the road placement or road manager script. Okay, and we have a bit of an issue here. For example, uh, that we are not removing objects from our road positions to recheck. Thus, we are rechecking multiple re positions already placed uh, and there is, there is no point in doing that. So let's paste here under the temporary placement position dot clear, let's place road positions to recheck and call clear on it. Okay. Next thing that we can fix is we do not need to have this game object because our road fixer has access to all the objects. So we can simply call our road fixer in the placement manager place temporary structure structure. So let's pass road fixer dot straight road, for example, as the base prefab as it will be changed. Uh, actually, yeah, it will always be changed because if we place a dead end at the beginning, it will only fit one uh, position. So, of course, we could substitute it for dead end because a single road will always be a dead end. Okay, great. So now we need to somehow account for a situation when we are placing our road and we want to use a star algorithm to find a path between our starting point and the point when we have uh, dragged our mouse to. So let's slide up and just below our lists, we are going to create private vector three. And we are going to call it uh, vector three int. We are going to call it start position. Okay. And next variable will be private Bool. and this will be placement mode equals false okay so we are going to use the start position to save the position on which we have first clicked and then we are going to enable placement mode which in turn will call a different method to calculate our path between our start position and the current position and place our road prefabs on the map, deleting the old prefabs. So how are we going to implement it? Well, we need to slide down to our place road method. And what we can do here is we can see that those two checks will apply uh, if we have our road placed already on the position or if we have clicked outside of the bounds of our grid. So if we have uh, uh, dragged our pointer on an existing road, we will stop placing a road. And if we are, uh, we have dragged our pointer outside of the bounds of our grid, we will also stop placing our road. Next, we want to check if our placement mode is false. Okay, I'm going to rename it. Okay. And if our placement mode is false, we are going to perform the same actions that we have performed so far. So this is the first time we are placing an object. And beside uh, clearing all those lists, what we want to say is our placement mode is equal to true. And our start position will be equal to this position. So this is the first time we are placing a road on our map. And we have added it to the temporary placement positions and placed it on the road. And next we want to put the fixed road prefabs outside of this if statement because we are going to have an else statement. So in case our placement mode is already on, this means that we want to calculate a path from our start position to the point where we have dragged our mouse to. And we want to use a star algorithm to find a path between those two points to create a road between them. So now what we want to do is, first of all, 
we want to remove all already placed road prefabs to replace them with a new set of prefabs depending on what A star will return to us. So let's call placement manager dot remove all temporary structures. Okay, and this method will be responsible for removing all the prefabs for our road objects that we have already placed on our map. Now again we need to clear our temporary positions, so temporary placement positions clear. And what we will need to do is clear our uh, road positions to recheck. Okay, clear. Great. And after clearing those two lists, we are going to ask our A star algorithm to generate as, as a path between the start and the position that we want to uh, go to. So let's call temporary placement position. So this is our list equals placement manager. And we are going to call a method called get path between. We are going to pass here the start position and we are going to call uh, to pass here the position. Okay, we do not have this method, so Alt Enter and generate this method. So for now, let's assume that this returns us a list of vector three ints that are our newly found path between those two points. Now, this might be an empty list if there is no path or a list containing some vector 3 ints. So what we can do is simply call for each var position or temporary position in our temporary placement positions and we are going to call placement manager. Actually we can copy the uh, statement from the above so from the uh, above the else. Placement manager place temporary structures Instead of position, we are going to pass the temporary position. And this should create for us our road. And what we are going to do now is we are going to look at the fix road prefabs uh, method. Okay. And now we are getting all the neighbors for each and every term temporary placement position for our newly created road for each road position in the neighbors. And what we will want to do is check if our root positions to recheck doesn't already contain the root position. Because there will be a, a situation where our root's position to recheck already contains this position. And if it is false, we are going to add the root position to our root positions to recheck and simply fix those positions. Great. And of course, we will need to finish placing our road at some point. So let's create a new method, public void finish placing road. Great. And what we want to do here is call placement mode equals false. So we want to stop placement mode. Next. We need to have a way to remove the temporary positions when we are replacing the path in our else statement. We are calling remove all temporary structures. Now, if we store every an, uh, object in our temporary structures, we would remove all the objects from the map and we do not want it. So we need to have a way to save those temporary structures in a more permanent list of structures that we know that they, are, they have been placed previously and we do not want to touch them when we are temporarily placing our new road objects. So we are going to call placement manager and we are going to transfer those temporary structures to a permanent uh, dictionary of structures. So add temporary structures to structure dictionary. Okay. And we want to alt enter on this method and generate it in our placement manager. We are going to take care of implementing those extra methods in our placement manager in the next video. For now, let's type our placement road manager to our input manager. So 
let's finish this method first if our temporary placement positions dot count is greater than zero what we want to uh, call is we want to call audio player and we should have uh, we should be importing using svs library dot instance because this will be a, a singleton and we want to call play placement sound as i have mentioned we had downloaded from the package manager uh, from unity asset store some sounds we, we want to play a sound when we place our objects on the map next we want to clear the list so temporary placement positions dot clear and we are going to simply set the start position to be equal to vector 3 int dot 0 to 0 this position right so last thing that is to, uh, that we have to do is to assign those methods to our different callbacks from our input manager and this we need to do in our game manager so let's open up our game manager i have it opened in the visual studio great and what we will need to do is in start we want to call input manager with lower i dot on hold on mouse hold plus equals the same handle mouse click because we are going basically to call the same place road method and at the end we want to call input manager dot on mouse up so at this point we want to finish placing our road we want to call our road manager dot finish placing road great and since we are assigning directly the road manager we can do the same above so let's copy the road manager dot place road and let's assign it to our on mouse click and on mouse hold we are going to refactor this code to handle the ui let's delete the excessive method save it and in the next video we will fix our placement manager so see you there